Hey, welcome back to Bamboo Batu. Today we're going to talk about how renewable is bamboo. How fast does bamboo grow? How does it grow? There's uh, a lot of misconceptions about bamboo, a lot of misunderstandings. And because it's such an amazing plant, we often speak with exaggeration and hyperbole about bamboo. And some of those claims we make are true, and some of them are a little bit, a little bit uh, too strong. So we often hear that bamboo is the fastest growing plant on earth. And that's actually, for the most part, true. The fastest woody plant. There are some varieties of seaweed, giant kelp, that grow extremely fast. And there are small varieties of bamboo that don't grow very fast at all. So it really depends on the species of the bamboo. Uh, we often hear bamboo grows three feet a day without fertilizer, without pesticides, without irrigation. <clears throat> and that's almost true. Um, there are certain species of bamboo which will grow up to three feet a day in the peak of growing season. Uh, this isn't a growth rate that they can maintain a day after day, year after year. But during the growing season, when they're having that growth spike, um, certain species of bamboo in the right climate, in the right conditions can't grow at that pace. Um, in its natural habitat, um, it doesn't need fertilizer. It doesn't need pesticides. Uh, it does require rain. Um, if there's no rain, it will require irrigation or else it will not grow very fast. So if you're farming bamboo, you probably need to fertilize it or spray it with something once in a while to deter the pests but it does require less, uh, fewer inputs than other crops. Um, we, uh, we also hear that you can harvest bamboo every year in perpetuity without replanting. Um, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And that is more or less true because it's a grass and not a tree. You cut it down and it grows right back. Uh, but it does have to be harvested uh, responsibly and sustainably. And intelligently, you can't just go and clear cut um, 20 acres of bamboo and expect it to bounce back the next year. But if you're harvesting about 20, 25% of your bamboo grove each year, it will continue to come back um, steadily and vigorously. And that is one of the amazing features of bamboo. We also hear a lot of comparisons between trees and bamboo. Trees take 30 to 50 years to reach maturity and to be able to harvest, whereas bamboo replaces itself every five years. <clears throat> Again, that's more or less true. Uh, the five years number is a bit confusing. Bamboo actually grows back in a single season, uh, but it depends, again, how you're harvesting it. If you clear cut your whole uh, bamboo farm, it'll take a few years for it to come back. But if you're just harvesting about, you know, 20, 25% at a time, then the new shoots come back and they grow, uh, they replace the, the replacement columns come up every, every year, but you probably want to wait a few years before you harvest them because as they sit there, um, in the grove, they do harden and then thicken over, over time. So even though it grows back in the next year, you do want to wait a couple years before you cut it down if you want the highest quality bamboo culms. So how does bamboo really grow? Um, it's an interesting question. And again, people compare bamboo to trees a lot. Uh, bamboo is a grass and grass and trees have very different growth habits. Trees start out as a seedling. They grow a little bit the first year, they grow a little bit more in the second year. Each year they get bigger and bigger. And that uh, pattern continues year after year after year as the tree gets bigger and bigger. Uh, grass like bamboo comes up in the springtime or in the growing season. Uh, at the beginning of the growing season, it comes up like this, in this big shoot you see here in the picture. And that shoot will spike upwards um, over the course of the growing season, usually about two or three months, 16 to 90 days. And in that time it will reach, if it's going to be a hundred feet tall, it will reach a hundred feet in that growing period. So that's how it's able to grow three feet a day. 
and not all bamboo gets 100 feet tall mind you some varieties even the bigger varieties get maybe 50 or 60 feet tall and then there's little dwarf varieties that only get uh six or ten inches tall so um when people make big claims about bamboo they're usually talking about timber bamboo um one of uh, one of a few dozen of the giant species of bamboo that grows you know 80 to 100 or maybe even more uh feet tall like 30 30 meters tall if you're on the metric system and so that's the interesting thing about bamboo all that height is in a single season it doesn't get any bigger the second year uh the second year you'll start to see some branches coming up and you'll start to see um you might not see it but but the walls of the bamboo the, the comb walls will harden and thicken and so the wood gets with better quality stronger and harder and it becomes a better product so even though it has all that height right away um you know it gets up to like i said 80 or 100 feet tall maybe um in that first two or three months that doesn't mean it's it's ready to ready to harvest that quickly you want to leave it there to, to harden up if you're trying to get the best quality bamboo poles so the thing to understand the thing that's a source of confusion is the age of the clump versus the age of the pole um now i'm talking about clumping bamboo here with this same uh same principles apply if we're talking about running bamboo which is going to be in a, in a forest or a grove as opposed to a clump but just for the purpose of explanation i like to describe it as the clump versus the pole uh in this picture here you see a giant clump of uh, what appears to be dendrocalamus giganteus uh one of the giant species of bamboo from southeast asia and indonesia uh, it's one of the species that does get about 80 to 100 feet tall uh, in the ideal growing conditions so if you're talking about a bamboo clump or bamboo plant uh it starts out very small here's a, a couple pots of seedlings i believe these were dendrocalamus sinicus in the picture if i'm not mistaken there are definitely some species of dendrocalamus and so those are uh, bamboos that will grow uh close to 100 feet tall but this in the first uh in the first few months the seeds have sprouted and you get these tiny little shoots and these shoots are going to come up and they're going to be you know thinner than a pencil and they might get um they might get six or ten inches tall on those on those shoots in that first year um in the second year the, the clump will produce bigger shoots um and again in that year the shoots will get to their height and that's as big as they'll get in the third year you'll get bigger shoots than that and each subsequent year the shoots get bigger and bigger until you have a, a nice clump uh, or a nice collection of clumps like this picture here and so those clumps you have some older cones from the first year that did not get very big um second year cones which are bigger and and each year and so on they get bigger and bigger and here are some of those giant giant shoots coming up this is a this is an older clump um once the clump is mature once the bamboo plant is mature and it starts to produce full size fully mature um, um shoots and these shoots will grow to be full size um as big as they're going to get on this bamboo plant and then each year after that you'll continue to get a, a series of full-size massive bamboo poles so um that, that takes about six to eight years for for the bamboo clump to reach maturity um that's the point where it's producing the, the big cones as big as they're going to get for that particular plant for that particular species um, in that habitat and again that number of six to eight years it depends on the climate it depends on the species depends on how it's being managed this particular picture is dendrocalamus asper plantation in 
in Ecuador. Ecuador has amazing conditions for growing clumping tropical bamboo, uh, lots of sunlight, lots of rain. Um, equatorial conditions mean equal, um, equal sun and darkness uh, throughout the year. You don't have the, the, the oscillation the variation of, of the seasons. It's just sunny. You, know, you get the rainy season and the dry season, but, but it's ample precipitation and the bamboo bamboo thrives there. So these are fully mature clumps and they are producing big, big cones, uh, every year. And so, like I said earlier, the cones come up and they reach their full size in the, in the initial growing season. And, but you want to leave them there. If you're trying to harvest the best poles, you leave those poles there, even though they're full, they have their full height. Um, you want to leave them there for a couple of years and they'll, they'll harden, they'll thicken and they'll branch out more, but it's really the, the hardness that you're, that you're going for. And so it's after about two to five years, um, that the comb is at the right age. So again, you've got the, you've got the clump that's maybe six to eight years old, produces a full size comb, give that comb about two to five years. And so you're looking at maybe 10 years from planting to harvesting your best, your best bamboo poles. So that's uh, a little bit longer than some people suspect. They think, oh, I plant some bamboo and it's going to be ready. Like it grows super fast. I can harvest it right away, but it takes some time. Um, people say, oh, maybe four or five years. And that is a very short um, estimate. You're really looking at closer to, to eight or 10 years to get some good quality bamboo and after two to five years on those um on those columns after five years and again it depends on the species and conditions that but the columns eventually will start to age and wither and dry out and crack and they will no longer be the top quality bamboo poles so you want to harvest it before that happens uh, if you don't harvest before that then then you're going to need to go in and prune at some point and remove those old combs that got, that got old and cracked because they're just drawing energy away from the plant. And also if you're looking at carbon sequestration, those aging combs are just going to start to rot and release CO2 back into the atmosphere. And so the bamboo is no longer serving as a good carbon sink. If you let those combs just sit there and age and age and age on the plant. So a couple factors to consider. And so that's what happens when the bamboo gets old. Here's an old man working on some bamboo and that's what people look like when they get old and bamboo. And when it gets old, um, like I said, it kind of ages and cracks also, uh, that's what the poles do. Uh, again, the age of the clump, the age of the pole, two different things. So when the, when the clump gets old, when the bamboo plant itself, the whole plant is getting old. Eventually there is an expiration date. Those you can't just harvest forever and ever and ever and have it come back again and again. Eventually the plant does, um, will age and die. Usually in a flowering event, the, the bamboo will go to flower. That depends on the species. Some species flower every 35, 40 years or so. Some species take a hundred, 120 years to flower. And then usually uh, they flower and then the plant dies back and then you have to cut it out and replant. Uh, some species, they will continue growing after they flower. Uh, they might not be as vigorous as they were before. And again, it depends on, on species conditions and, and other factors, but it is something to be aware of. If you're planting a um, hundred acres of one species of bamboo, um, there's kind of a built-in biological clock there where it's going to, it's going to peter out at some point, or it's going to flower at some point, and you're going to have to replant and start from scratch. Uh, and so that's something to watch out for. So that's roughly how bamboo grows and how it ages and what you need to pay attention to for the age of your bamboo, the age of your combs, the age of your clumps. And I hope you found that interesting, informative, educational, and worth sharing. 
If you did, please like it, please share it, please tell your friends, make Bamboo Batu your favorite, and pass it on, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.